Hello everybody, this is Mike D and today I'm going to show you the new script list of products, uh, products used which is a very convenient script in order to find uh, which exactly products you have used in your scene, your, uh, your current scene or an old one um, in order to use it um, in your gallery or to use these products in a new scene or even uh, give some credits in uh, the social media. I have already added this uh, script to the menu and uh, toolbar. This is its icon. And as you can see over here, I've got the scene and um, I have selected um, the bike over here. And my main uh, figure is parented into this bike. Now, if I'm going to execute the script, you will see uh, which exactly is um, the product for my uh, current uh, selection, which is the bike. If I would like um, uh, to scan all the scene, I have uh, just to press this button. And um, very uh, quickly, as you can see, I've got a list of all the products uh, using my scene. If I would like to scan only uh, the selected item, which is the bike, and uh, the children items, which is um, the figure and uh, all the wearables and accessories, I've got to press the uh, Rescan Selected Nodes uh, and Children button over here. Uh, as you can see, the script repeats uh, the scanning and um, now we don't have, uh, for example, the environment. For each product in the list, you can see in the first column its title, next the school number, the thumbnail of the product, the vendors, a button uh, named Store, um, which opens uh, the product uh, page in your uh, browser, um, a copy button which uh, copies um, the title of the, thumb of the uh, current product uh, into the clipboard in order to paste it somewhere, like here. Um, let's close it. And uh, the open product button, which will um, open uh, the product into your content library in order uh, to use it uh, in your current scene. Another cool thing you can do with uh, this uh, product is that you can export. Let me let me rescan all the scene, <clears throat> and um, you can select some items over here and export a list of these items into an external file. For example, I've got over here some uh, product selected. And all I have to do is just uh, press this button, export list to text file. So I'm going to, cho to choose a name for my file. Let's say test number two. I already have test number one. And uh, just press the save button. Okay. Now you've got uh, uh, these selected items exported into this file. Of course, you can import a list from a text file. Uh, for example, over here, I can import uh, for my uh, promo uh, seven list of products, uh, which is uh, two characters and uh, a chair from Lindy, uh, in order to find their products and maybe import them into my new scene. Rescanning the whole uh, scene, I'm going to select uh, nothing in the scene and uh, execute the script again. So it's going um, to scan the entire scene. You can see that I've got some products like uh, the default resources, uh, the Genesis 9 body shapes, the Genesis 9 starter essentials, uh, which is not very crucial uh, products for our um, uh, scene. Uh, if you'd like to exclude some item, items from the list, uh, all you have to do is just uh, select these items and over here, the lower part of the dialog, you've got the exclude selected products from, from scans button. Press this button and as you can see, all these buttons, all these products, sorry, disappeared for, from the list. Um, all these products are over here in the settings, so you can call them back anytime you want. If you have installed the um, Mike Auto Save uh, plugin into Da Studio, then these two uh, products can uh, interact themselves, and uh, you get some new uh, features. Over here in the Auto Save panel, you can see at the bottom that uh, there is a space for the scene notes. 
any notes um, you write over here will be saved within uh, the scene file. Um, if uh, we're going to execute uh, the list of products use script for the entire scene, um, we can get um, the list of products, we can choose some, some of them. And um, as you can see, I'm checking a lot of them. And I can save it, I can write it to the current scene notes using this button. Pressing this button, as you can see now down here, the scene notes uh, have a list of the products uh, used within the scene. Don't forget that uh, you needed to save the scene afterwards in order to keep uh, the notes within the save file. Opening the advanced load uh, dialog from uh, autosave um, plugin, you will see that I've got a list um, for all my scene files. And over here, selecting uh, the promo uh, 112, the current uh, scene, uh, it has in its notes uh, the products used list. I've got uh, some other products over here with the same format. For example, I believe it is uh, this one or uh, this one. Yes, I've got the product list for uh, this um, scene as well. Okay, now. If you want to import any product uh, from these scene files, all you, ha you have to do is just um, execute the script. It will scan the scene uh, initially. And after, the, uh, after that, you've got um, to press the button Read the Scene Files note, and the dialog will pop up. Choose um, the scene you want. For example, I'm going to select uh, the Promo 709. And as you can see, I've got a new list of products over here, uh, which I can, I can import into uh, my scene using the Open product, product button. A faster way is to move into your, into your content library, open the, your uh, scene folder, and uh, select uh, a file uh, from um, this panel. Let's see uh, which was, uh, that was uh, my previous uh, scene file. Now I'm going to execute the script again. It's going to read again um, my current scene. But now I've got another option over here, a button called Scan Selected Assets for Product Notes. Pressing this button, it will automatically read, uh, read uh, these files notes and it will import any product product list saved uh, within this file if you have the pins for library uh, script installed in Dash studio uh, you will find it uh, in um, scripts mike d uh, pins for library path over here uh, then you've got another way to interact uh, with uh, the current script uh, uh, product a uh, list of product to use. Uh, if you're going to scan your um, scene again to take to retrieve the list of products, you can select any of them. And if you've got the pins for libraries script, then you can directly uh, store the selected products to pins using uh, this button over here. I'm going to press it and it will ask me for a tab, a sub-tab, uh, in order to store the, this list of products. I'm going to use a new tab. Automatically, it, it takes uh, the current scene's name, and I'm going to, to choose a new sub-tab like uh, it is now, new sub-tab. I'm going to press Accept, and now I've got all these selected items into uh, my Pins for Library script. Let's check it. I'm going to execute the MD pins, and as you can see here, I've got uh, a new tab with the current scene name and all the items I had selected earlier. In this way, you've got um, shortcuts for all uh, these products in order to use them in the current or uh, in a new uh, scene. Thank you for watching my video.